Welcome. Seven months on three wheels. An Indian engineer has finally arrived in London in his solar-powered tuk-tuk or auto rickshaw. Naveen Robelli set off to raise awareness of electric and solar-powered vehicles. He arrived in the UK five days later than planned after his wallet and passport were stolen in Paris. The BBC Asian Network's Rahul Joglekar went to meet him. It looks slow, runs on three wheels only. But this rickshaw has finished a 6,000 mile journey from Bangalore in India to its final destination of Buckingham Palace here in London. Meet Naveen. This is my tuk-tuk for last uh, four and a half years. And this is my home for last uh, seven months now. Uh, yeah, uh, as you can imagine, it's not that uh, tidy. My photographs from different parts, that's one of my favorite quotes over there in Iran, in Farsi. That actually means that it's a long, long journey ahead for me and there will be a lot of challenges, but there's a lot of good wishes uh, to support me out. The reason he's done it is to highlight the power of solar energy. I was stuck in traffic in Bangalore. This is where the idea came uh, when I saw a lot of uh, tuk-tuks around me with polluting tuk-tuks. We definitely have to start thinking on uh, renewable energies. Now it's high time. It's not just a local problem, it's a global problem. And we need to start thinking about it. And solar is, uh, seems to be the, one of the best solutions at this moment of time we have. And the adventure that started way back in February took him through a dozen countries. Food, I love uh, Turkey. For uh, hospitality, I like Iran a lot. For beaches and stuff, I like uh, Greece. And uh, for beer, I like uh, Germany and Serbia. And yeah, I think the weather for UK. It's been a seven month long journey for Naveen coming here to the UK from India. So I've decided to join him on the journey back. I'm all ready with a passport, license and all of this advice from Naveen. So should we do it Naveen then? Let's do it. Let's do it. That report there from Rahul Joglikar from the BBC's Asian Network.